Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to get pretty much any Pokemon you want on your iPhone, iPod, Touch, or even iPad. Like you could see on my iPhone 5 I have right here that I'm playing Pokemon Gold. You see my Pokemon and and I have and I have multiple games. And I have red Gold, you can pretty much get when you when you do this on your iPhone or iPod Touch, you can get pretty much any game, any Nintendo uh, Game Boy game that or anything that you want. You could get Final Fantasy, you know, something like that, or Mario or anything like that. But but we can get it. We could do it, use it for Pokemon, and you can see that I have red and gold on this, and there's two different ones that you can use. And so the first thing that you definitely need is you need a jailbroken iPhone, iPod touch or um or an ipad without an, without a jailbroken ipod iphone ipod touch you're not going to be able to do it so make sure you guys jailbreak your your iphone ipod touch i know a lot of people say you shouldn't advise the warranty or something like that but honestly i've jailbroken all of my iphones i've ever gotten and i never regret it because it allows me to get free games and do things like this so well, to get it, you're going to definitely need the jailbreak. And then there's two other things in Cydia, which is the application you get when you jailbreak it, that you need. And so the first thing is you need the emulator. So so the best emulator to get the Pokemon, there's a few different uh, uh, Game Boy emulators. And there's Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo emulators, stuff like that. There's a lot of different emulators, but we're doing the Game Boy one. And so the Game Boy, the best Game Boy emulator for... Um, for Pokemon, it's called Game Boy for iPhone. You guys can see it with a little check that I already have it downloaded, but you can click on it. And all of you guys should have this. And it's the Game Boy, and the Game Boy for iPhone is the Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulator for the iPhone and iPod Touch. You can get it on your iPad, it might. Be, the screen might be a little bit smaller, but it definitely works. But anyways, you would go to, you would you would click this top right button up here and click install, and then just click confirm and it'll install the whole thing. And so for the next step, which is to get the actual ROM, get the actual ROMs for it. Getting getting the emulator isn't hard at all. It's trying to find the ROMs that actually work with it. So next you're gonna have to add. So you're gonna go into manage, at the bottom right next to search and go to sources and I already have the the source that you need and this this source will allow you to add ROMs but as you can see you can see all my sources that I have added but right here there's this one called ihacksrepo.com that's what you want you would go to edit add and you would type in and you would type in the source you would type that in exactly try to focus it you would you would type in i h a c k s r e p o dot com into the into this function right here. You would let it refresh, do all that. My fire my fire detector is going off because it's going crazy. And then after you after you download that, what you do is you go to sections at the bottom. Right next to the right next to the featured on Cydia, and you'll scroll down to IHR, which stands for IHAX Repo ROMs. Right here. And then you'll scroll down. You can see all these ROMs that they have. Donkey Kong, Castlevania, Final Fantasy, all these games. And we're gonna we're looking for Pokemon. So we'll go down to the P's. And there's look, there's Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Fire Red. I have Pokemon Gold downloaded. And Pokemon Red, cause I already, cause I already beat Red. That's why I downloaded the next one. They go Red, then Gold. And what you'll do is you'll click on the ROM, and at the top you'll click Install. So I, I could show you with a different one that I don't have, like Ruby. So you'd click on it, and at the top click Install, and then click Confirm. So after you have all that downloaded, and you let it load. You'll go to your dash. You'll go to your your screen, your home screen, and then you'll you'll find the application, which is GB for iPhone. This right here, that bottom left one. So you click that, and then it'll look like this. 
And if you go to options, you could turn on autosave, but it doesn't really work well, and you could do different skins. I do the skin 5 because it works well. Some of the skins, they don't save right. So I use this one. And so you'll see your ROMs right here, and you see I have red and gold version. And there's one more thing I want to show you. So, so that's how you download all the games, but there's one other difficult thing is saving your game. So you would start the game, and this is my save game for Pokemon Gold. As you can see, see it's playing just fine. I mean, I could go fight, I could do whatever. Fight trainers, like, do whatever. Let me just show you guys. So there's a drowsy. I'll just run. All right, and then, so you guys could do all that, and you need to save it. And the way to save it is, is you press this bottom left button right here. So you press that, and you click Save Currently Loaded State. Every time you save, you want to do that. You don't want to save state to new file because every single time you'll make a new file. And then if you quit to menu, it'll ask you, and then you could save to currently loaded state. And so just be in mind, when you're doing it on a different skin, it has it looks completely different, and there's different ways for you to save it. Like, like if I turn on skin 1, and I go to my save games, and I go portrait no sound, it's different. There's a different place to press it, and I'm not even sure. That's why I use my other skin. Because I'm not sure, there we go, I just found it. I'm not sure how to find it on the different skins. That's why I use skin 5, which is the easiest. So all you do is you click on that bottom left button, you click save currently current state, and you could just leave. If you get a phone call or something like that, that interrupts your game and you didn't save, then it sucks and it didn't save. If you press the home button by accident without saving, then it's gone. That's a different one. Then it's gone. So make sure you guys save save frequently and so you just you just go to it yeah, bottom left button save and that's it it took me a while to find it i wasn't sure and it just and it sucks having to start over so make sure that you guys do that and yeah guys so that's about it see ya